In this video, I will be talking about the unit mole. Quantities in chemistry are expressed using this unit called mole. A mole is like a dozen in many ways. It can be expressed both as a number and mass. We know one dozen oranges is equal to one dozen apples, which is equal to 12. Similarly, one mole of hydrogen molecules is equal to one mole of oxygen molecules, which is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23, which is the Avogadro's number. The mass of one dozen oranges is not equal to the mass of one dozen apples. Similarly, the mass of one mole of oxygen atoms will not be equal to the mass of one mole of hydrogen atoms. This mass of one mole of any substance is called the molar mass. The quantity mole is represented using the lowercase letter n. Moles can be related to mass using the following relationship. If you divide the total mass available by the mass of one mole or molar mass, you will get the number of moles present in the given quantity. Moles is equal to mass over molar mass. Moles can also be related to number. If you know the total number of molecules present, you can divide it by Avogadro's number to obtain the number of moles. Avogadro's number is the number of entities present in one mole. The number of moles n is equal to uppercase n divided by Na, the symbol for Avogadro's number. This is the second method to determine the value of n or moles from number. The third method for determining the value of mole is from volume. Gram molar volume is the volume occupied by any gas at STP. STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. The value of molar volume is 22.414 liters at STP. The value of temperature is 0 degrees Celsius and pressure is 101.325 kilopascals. So, if you know the total volume and the volume occupied by one mole at STP, you can calculate the moles by dividing the total volume by the molar volume which is 22.414 liters at STP. These are the three methods by which you can determine moles in chemistry. Sample problem 1. Calculate the number of moles of sodium carbonate present in 50 grams of sodium carbonate. First we will write down the information that we have. Mass of sodium carbonate, M is equal to 50 grams. Molar mass of sodium carbonate, MM can be calculated by adding up the relative atomic masses of the elements after multiplying the numbers with their subscripts and coefficients. The relative atomic masses can be obtained from your periodic table. The molar mass, as you can see, for sodium carbonate is 105.99 grams per mole. So what we need now is moles, n. The equation that relates moles, mass and molar masses, n, is equal to m over mm. Now, if you substitute the values, n is equal to 50 grams over 105.99 grams per mole, which gives us 0.4717 moles. So now, we can say, there are 0.4717 moles of sodium carbonate, present in 50 grams, of sodium carbonate. Sample problem 2. In this problem, we are going to calculate, the number of moles, from the total number of molecules we have. If you have 4.7 into 10 to the power of 25 ammonia molecules, how many moles of NH3 do you have? And, how many moles of H do you have? Now, let's solve the problem. First, we will write down the information we have. Number of molecules N, we have is, 4.7 into 10 to the power of 25. Avogadro's number, Na is known, and the value is 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. So, what we need to calculate is, the number of moles, represented by lowercase n. 
Now we need an equation, relating the total number of molecules, and Avogadro's number. The equation is, lowercase n, which represents moles, is equal to, uppercase n, which represents, the total number of molecules, divided by Na, or, Avogadro's number. Substituting the values, we have, moles is equal to, 4.7 into 10 to the power of 25, divided by, 6.022 into 10 to the power of 23. This gives us, 78.05 moles of ammonia. Since each molecule of ammonia, contains three hydrogen atoms, the number of moles of hydrogen, is equal to, 3 times the number of moles of ammonia, or 234.15 moles of hydrogen atoms. Sample problem 3. This is a problem involving volumes. We will use the molar volume, or gram molar volume, at STP, to determine the moles of gaseous compounds. Calculate the number of moles of diatomic oxygen, present in 50 liters of diatomic oxygen molecules. Solution. First write down the data, that is provided to you, then write the equation that can be chosen, based on the data provided. Volume of diatomic oxygen, or the total volume of diatomic oxygen is equal to 50 liters. Gram molar volume, that is the volume occupied by one mole of any gas, at STP, is equal to 22.414 liters per mole. What we need is, the number of moles of diatomic oxygen, present in 50 liters of diatomic oxygen gas. So the equation relating total volume, molar volume and moles is, lowercase n is equal to, total volume divided by gram molar volume, or GMV. Now, we can substitute the values, n is equal to 50 liters divided by 22.414 liters per mole, which is equal to 2.231 moles. The final statement is, there are 2.231 moles of diatomic oxygen present in 50 liters of diatomic oxygen at STP. These are the three basic problems, involving moles, mass, number, and volume. In the videos that follow, in this series on moles, I will show you, how to convert moles to mass, mass to moles, count atoms, molecules, determine the mass of atoms and molecules. That's it for now. If you like the video, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.